a WPC powered driver board that I thought was just going to be run of the mill. And it kind of is, but it's a good opportunity to point out that this is not the way to install bridge rectifiers. They are designed to be mounted off of the board and the heat taken up by this heat sink. If you mount them flush with the board, you're defeating the uh, purpose of the heat sink, at least to some extent. And this 7812 voltage regulator did not have a screw holding it down and no heat transfer paste. So I removed that to take care of that while I'm in here. C5 and I always replace and C11 was domed, so it's got to go too. All right, on the bench with this WPC power driver board, GI headers all replaced. This is a five and 12 volt power output header replaced, 12 volt power input header replaced, and J101, 102, and 103 have been replaced. J, I see a lot of boards that come in where people have been attempting to repair a reset issue and they get in and hack around a bit, replacing BR2 and C5. You don't need to do that. In most cases, if you repin J101 on both sides and J114 on both sides, your reset issues are going to go away. Now, this particular board, the client sent one of the EZ SBC regulators. So I have installed that. And one word of caution when you install these, if you use the captured star washer nuts that are on the original LM323K, they can short across traces on the EZ SBC. So I have some 6-32 by 3 8 nuts that I use, or screws that I use, and I have some nuts on the back side, ensuring there are no shorts across traces. I replaced C2, and I had to take the 7812 out because there is no heat sink grease or heat transfer grease on the back of it. So I took it out, applied some grease and installed it back in and there was no screw and nut. So I put one on there. You can see I've got the bridge rectifiers sitting nice and high now. I replaced both of them because the other ones, the legs were just cut too short. I replaced C5, C11 while I was in there. C11 was dome, C5 I always replace and I replaced C4. So. I might have just contradicted myself, or seemingly. I say don't mess with C5 if you're a homeowner. Uh, send the board to somebody to get it repaired, unless you've got the experience to do it, because you just cannot get those snap caps out unless you've got the proper tools and technique and experience. So this board's all good to go. Let's put it into test. And we're in solenoid, or we're going to be in solenoid test. I'll get it to repeat. I mean to to running, I say, so to running, golly, easy for me to say. I have the WPC DMD test ROM installed, so it's going to do all 16 of the solenoid drives. Looking good. And let's do general illumination, always important because sometimes when folks are hacking about on the bridge rectifiers, they sever the traces that go to the zero cross circuit and your general illumination will not dim. I'm going to do lamps and flashers all at the same time. I just like the speed of this test. So those are all the flasher circuits. And those are all the lamp drives looking good. And let's see. That's it. This board is now good to go. I'm going to take it outside and squirt it down with some Castrol Super Clean and make it as clean as it was when it came off the PCB manufacturer floor. 
and I thank you so much for sending it and your patience as I repair it.